Today we're looking into Mike Trout. We're gonna dissect his swing and you're gonna see why he's, he's the best, okay? So stay tuned. Okay, welcome back to the channel. So today I have a special episode for you. We're going to talk about Mike Trout, the myth, the legend. Yes, the best player in the world. I'm excited about it. Um, if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Jermaine Curtis. I've played in major leagues. I've played professionally for 10 years and I played at UCLA. So I've done this and uh, I love this. It's my passion. I want to share it with others. So so before we dive into the video, I want to say that I'm going to give you some drills that you can do that's going to help you next level your game, okay? With enough said, let's just get right into the video. That's Look at that swag right there. there. But, uh, we're going to here for a <laughs> <boy. laughs> This is first thing. So, first thing I want to say here is you have to have confidence. If you're not believing in yourself, you're not going to be successful. And confidence is something Mike Trout always has he always walks around with his head high and body language matters so if you are walking to the plate you want to walk with your head high you don't want to be slouched over you want to walk with your head high when you're out there you want to exude that confidence and belief in yourself so you want to do that that's step one because you could do all the drills in the world you can work on everything but if you're not believing in yourself it's not going to work out so you want to start working on that, fixing your posture, thinking positively, those things. It's going to help your game. Even if you're not even, um, you know, your swing's not working or you're not feeling great, you're still going to get hit and you're still going to be successful because you believe in yourself. So the second thing I want you to see here is how close he is to the plate. I believe you should have, um, you should be close. I don't think you should be right on top of it, but I think you should be close because that's going to push your point of contact out front and pitchers notice that and it'll mess with them they don't want to throw inside they don't want to hit you so they're going to be cautious on uh, where they're going to throw balls and that's going to give more mistakes and trout he takes advantage of those mistakes and he does more he hits outside the zone as well but he's very good at taking advantage of those mistakes so the third thing i want you to see here is he has an early leg kick Volquez hasn't even released the ball yet and he's already at his peak of his leg kick which means he's going to be early so he can hit the mistakes and he can hit the ball out front so if you're late things are going to break apart but if you're early you're giving yourself a chance to put barrel on the ball okay so I really like that if you're going to do a leg kick then I would say you definitely should uh, do it early now the fourth thing I want you to see here is how he puts the power on his back leg like look at where the power is right now everything's on that back leg that back hip and as you can see you'll see wrinkles in his shirt so that means that everything is on that back leg on the back heel everything is sitting there so he can transfer everything into the ball so the fifth thing i want you to see here is how he loads and then you can see the scap from this point of view you can definitely see it and you'll see that most hitters they have this the low because everything their hands are up high and you can see their you can see the name on the back of their their jersey that doesn't mean that they're diving into the plate it just means they're loading like if they were going to uh, go boxing how you load to fire that's going to give you that max power when you're swinging the bat. You want to kind of do that same thing, okay? So the sixth thing is the swing. And there's many forms of it. Um, you can have a swing that hits line drives. You can have a swing that has an upward swing. Mike Trout has one of those swings that's a upwards. Allow him to hit more fly balls and stay inside the ball so he can, you know, so he's not hitting as much ground balls. Um, and if you're trying to hit for power or be a successful hitter, I would say you definitely should Im imitate Mike Trout. Um, and I'll explain why right now, especially let's go with power first. Well, if you're trying to hit for power, um, you should be trying to hit the ball in the air more. Fly balls get you more doubles and more home runs. So you want to hit more fly balls. And I'm not talking about fly balls like pop-ups. 
talking about balls like this ball right here which is driven out of the ballpark like on a rise okay you want that type of ball line drives as well you can hit uh, you get with line drives you hit a lot of base hits you hit doubles and you hit home runs ground balls ground balls get you more hits um, but less damage points so back to Mike Trout he has a short upward swing um, it's almost like a clock um, and I always uh, I heard some some stuff about Trout it's like when he goes into a slump or he's not hitting what he does is he go plays golf and his swing is kind of like a golf swing as he scoops it he just scoops balls so again there's many ways to hit for power you can also hit for power if you have a line drive swing um, in my last video Manny Machado where I critique Manny Machado and I put that in the description he has more of a swing that's like line drive but he's he's crushing balls at the top of the zone Mike Trout has more of an upward swing so he hits balls down very well because he just scoops them so you can hit for both power and in any possible way it doesn't there's no one fit all type swing so don't let anyone tell you that but you just need to know your strengths and you need to know what you're focusing on at the plate where you want to hit the ball and then you attack that and that's how you're going to drive the ball so back to um, being a successful hitter so if you're trying to be a successful hitter which my trout does really well is he doesn't pull off the ball he stays through staying working up the middle even with his swing so if imagine if you had a ice cream scoop in your hand and you were going to scoop some ice cream instead of turning it over and it falls out you keep it up and you just scoop scoop it up that's how Mike Trout does on a baseball. He keeps his bat scooping it. And so he doesn't come off it. He doesn't let this the ice cream fall. He keeps it going. He doesn't rotate off of it. Uh, so as you see right here. Just head on the ball all the way. Boom. All the way through the swing. Ooh, swaggy. He pimped that. Mike Trout with some swag. They say he don't have swag. But... His goal is to drive the ball to center to right center and you see that in his swing so if you're trying to be successful a successful hitter um, if you work that way you're gonna stay on pitches better and so again Mike Trout he can hit the ball out of you know every field right center center um, he, he could do it all but that's gonna help you get those results that you want rather if hitting for power or hitting um, to just to be a better hitter the other thing I want you to see here the other thing I want you to see here is how he hits the ball and where he hits it and he hits this ball out front and as you can see right here he's hitting this ball about where his foot front foot is or a little bit further out front and then he extends after contact so he continues driving it on that path which is straight away center or right center like he stays and he doesn't rotate off the ball so again it's almost like a clock that's my trout swing and the last thing on number nine he has a simple repeatable swing this is why he's so successful he can he can keep repeating that swing it's not complicated he keeps it simple and I think if you're trying to be a successful hitter if you're trying to hit for power you need to have a swing that you can repeat 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 I mean again he just has an early leg kick his hands don't move much and then he just has a, a swing that's like a clock and boom he puts barrel on the ball and it doesn't matter who's throwing and how hard they're throwing he can repeat that swing all the time so now let's get into the drills number one confident as you can see in the batter's box he is just exuding confidence he has his head high he got swag he believes in himself I think you need to do that he's always has this, Look at this. smile on his face and you know he knows I head got this high. guy Look at that. That Boom. Guy. I'm the man I'm that's the man that's what he's saying to himself in the batter's box I'm the man I'm the man but a drill you can do is the Ted Williams drill you get a full body mirror and you look in that mirror and you take swings and you tell yourself how good you are this is what Ted Williams did before he would play a game and it helps with your confidence 
it helps with um, seeing yourself being successful and that's important as well um, that's definitely a drill that will help you and if you consistently do that daily you're going to see that you're gonna start create you're gonna create confidence and you can create it okay the second thing closer to the plate just just get closer to the plate start working on that that's that's pretty easy the third thing early leg kick okay um, what I would recommend is hitting off of a machine I'm not a big leg kick type of guy but if I was going to you know work like Mike Trout what I would do is I would uh, get off a machine hit off a machine and I would uh, work on being early because the machine has no timing and no rhythm so if you're able to repeat your uh, mechanics off a machine doing the leg kick then you're going to be able to do it off a pitcher because the pitcher is trying to break your rhythm and timing so I would hit off a machine or I would have a coach uh, throw close to me I, d I wouldn't have much time to react so I would have to force myself to get my leg kick early and put myself in a good position so I can do damage so the fourth thing power in the back leg um, what you can do is you can hold in this position on flips and hit off the tee and then swing so you just hold for like two or three seconds in that position as you see my trout in and then you swing and what this does is forces you to put that uh, and have balance on that back side so that you be able to throw it into the ball um, the fifth thing I what I do is is the mirror drill and what you do is you have a full body mirror or a mirror that that you can look into and you see this angle right now where you can see his scap if you do that same thing as far as loading in the mirror you'll be able to see if your scap is is up and basically that's putting your hands up in the zone um, or putting your hands up and um, and just loading and if you see your scap and you feel that um, then you're doing it correctly six uh, what you could do is the low T uh, drill go by a low T you can Google it online find that anywhere and uh, you hit off that low T and drive this ball up the center just keep working up the middle up the middle up the middle but also keep your hands high don't back don't drop your back shoulder trying to hit this ball in the air keep your hands up and then go down and get it with your top hand and extension after contact just push that T further out front and it'll force you to hit it out front but again you want to still drive this ball to center field to right center you don't want to hit this to left center okay and lastly you put the work in and repeat your swing have a simple repeatable swing keep doing this keep working on it you're going to get those results thank you guys for watching please please subscribe to the channel if you have any questions any questions at all please comment below and i'll answer them thank you again